I'm Scott Euknis for Climate Impact Company. It's an El Nino winter across North America. What that means is a vigorous storm track across the southern U.S. Long-term drought across California will ease, while drought in the southeastern U.S. will dissipate completely this winter season. Drought in Texas should also ease. Across the northern U.S., a completely different story. A milder than normal climate and dryness, the upper Midwest may begin a drought scenario. Across southern Canada, also warmer than normal. This winter will not produce polar vortex cold and snow as we've seen the last two winters. By springtime, that upper Midwest drought may expand southward through the Great Plains and towards Texas and foreshadow an anomalous hot summer 2016 for the Great Plains and into the Southeast U.S. In 2015, we've seen El Nino develop and it looks like it will reach historic intensity. Tremendous influence on South American climate. Brazil will undergo drought condition this summer season, anomalous heat attached to that dryness. To the south, a much different regime. Far southeastern Brazil, into northeastern portions of Argentina will be wetter than normal, suppressing summertime heat. Occasionally, this rainfall will be very impressive. As we get into the autumn season, El Nino is starting to fade, but this climate regime will continue. More dryness in Brazil, with wet weather continuing in southeast Brazil over to northeast Argentina. La Nina should reverse that climate regime later in 2016.